Flash Forge Finder 3 printer. I've had this printer for about six months and I will be going over all the pros and cons about it. Pro number one, it's easy to get started. So you can literally just buy this printer online and it'll ship to your house in a cardboard box and all you have to do is take off some plastic, cut some zip ties and then it's unboxed. Then you just have to plug the 3D printer in, level it, and download a 3D printable file to a USB, plug that in, and you're ready for your first print. It does get quite messy after a few prints. A con that comes with this is that it's expensive. As I was checking this out, you did see the price tag. It's $400, but also you have to buy filament, and I have no clue how much electricity this is using, but it's probably a lot. On the pro side, I can buy 2 kilograms of filament for $16 and print this kayak box for less than $2. Woo! If I were to buy this kayak box online, it would cost about $13. And I know that this one that I printed is a lot lower quality than the kayak box online, but it costed a dollar and a half to print. The con that comes with the too good to be true price is that these prints take a while. This kayak box took 36 hours to print and I messed up on my first one. <laughs> But my favorite thing about 3D printing is that you can really just print anything you want. There's no limit to what you can print. I've had my printer for six months, and every time a print stops, there's always something else I'm sorry. I've printed everything from these keychains. Even these articulated animals. A third con is that these parts are fragile and you gotta be super careful with it. Just look how intricate and complex this extruder is. So those are three pros and three cons of the Flash Warrior Finder 3 printer. If this video gets 25 likes, I will 3D print the NBA Airless Basketball. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see that video.